got a true maiden right here. It's my buddy Christian. He's got the BF 109. 100% 3D printed. She needs a little trim or what? Yeah, definitely. What's your opinion? What are you running on? 4S right now? No, it's a 6S. Oh, you got 6S, 6S in this? 6S 3300. Wow. She's pretty. Fly like a warbird or like a trainer? Dude, both of these planes fly like a trainer. Really? They fly, it's, it's, they're just they're so gentle. If you guys are interested in these 3D printed planes between this BF 109 or the MiG 15, I'll leave the link to where he got the files. In the description below, you guys could check that out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a half throttle right now. It is close. See, so you happy with it? What happened? Oh, my fault. Now, 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 I'm full board. This thing just like I'm I'm hands off right now. We're gonna take it easy on this flight, but next flight, when you go up by yourself, we're gonna have to see some some stuff. Let's see if you could hit a torque roll, barrel roll. It's got tiny LR on this That's alright. Slow. There you go. The flaps on this thing are huge, dude. It lands like a stole plane. Now how what kind of flight time are you gonna get out of this? Before the other one crashed because of the print settings were wrong, I had it up at for 10 minutes, no problem. 10 minute flight time. So it, it would have it flown longer if I didn't crash it. Well, if the wing didn't snap. It but. looks good up there, man. Even the colors of it. I was going to it, but I figured I'll, I'll just leave it. So it's 100% 3D printed, but then what? It comes with like a finishing manual where you got to get the retracts and all the electronic components and stuff like that? It comes with a finishing manual, but the problem is most of the stuff is from um, Hobby King and like 90% of the stuff that they have is on back order. Got it. Just, you Shipping orders right now. So I got the landing gear from Motion RC. They're for a Corsair, not even for this plane. Nice, it worked. Um, That's what the hobby's about, man. Yeah, the motors let's, let's from see a, a, Let's see a, uh, you comfortable doing a backflip or what? Uh, a loop? Yeah, that was a, that was a nice show pass. That rattle is the, the cover, the cover's a little loose. You know, I'll get some just, just tell there. people you're an amateur at uh, 3D printing, no problem. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, loving it. Right now, I'm full flaps right now. This thing's like just, it's like a, uh, it's like a kite with the flaps down. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I wanted to fly it. <laughs> well, I guess that's the good thing about 3D printed planes, right? You just yeah. print some more parts and you're good to go. That sucks. That's the first time that's ever happened. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So was that pilot error or what are we thinking? So it wasn't pilot error. You know what the problem was? I used the screws that came with the landing gear and they were too small for the holes. They just popped right out. He I just, had a feeling I should have used bigger screws, but I didn't. He doesn't want to tell you guys he's an amateur. <laughs> Till yeah. next time. That's, it's 100% my fault though. Let's get the MIG in the air. The MIG's gonna be fine. <laughs> this, is, this is what we call redemption. Open. It's either going to be good or bad. Open. <laughs> what do you got in there? 90 millimeter? Yeah. Uh. It's a uh, 2-3S, 6,000 milliamp hours in series. So what is it, 12,000 milliamp hours? 12,000 milliamp hours. Wait a minute. No. The milliamp hours cancel out because you're running them in series. So it's 6S. Six, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's 6S, yeah. Did you fix the front landing gear? I did. I did. But we'll see how long it holds out, though. Now, let me ask you something. Something like this, how long does it take it to fully print? Like a week to print? A week, running constant. Run, that's like you start it up when you go to work, you come home, you start another print. So, let me ask you, between filament and electric, what do you think it costs to build this without the electronics, just to build the airframe from the 3D printer? 30 bucks. $30? $30. $30. All right, well... And then after everything else is in, what are you, 100 bucks, 120 bucks? No, no, actually, no, it's like, it's like 400 Four hundred, like because it's it, it's a it's a spectrum receiver. Oh, okay, you got your receiver, your EDF, you got your. I got you. The so retracts, yeah. The retracts, the servos. I got you. 
But I mean, you know what? On the high end, if you have Prince Fail, like the most you're gonna spend to build this thing is 50 bucks. That is the absolute most. Or I could just steal <laughs> yours. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Taking off a half flaps. Uh -huh. This thing is perfect, dude. Wow, that sounds good. Is this your favorite plane? Is this your favorite plane? Out of the ones I 3 d printed, yeah, by far. It's got the speed when you need it, and it's just like a trainer. But it's a mid wing, so it can't fly like a trainer. It flies awesome, dude. It just, it, just, it just flies like it's on rails. Now, if he doesn't crash this on this flight, he says that I could fly it, so stay tuned for your boy. If I don't crash it. If, <laughs> if he doesn't crash it, he's gonna let me crash it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna fly it. What kind of receiver are you running this? The A channel spectrum. A channel. Yeah, because you need there's yeah, two, there's two, uh, two elevator servos and two flat servos. But the aileron's just a Y, so. Otherwise, I'd need a nine channel. Now, what do you, when you're passing me right there, like how, how much throttle will you want? I'm, I'm a little bit above half the whole time. I'll, now I'm at full. She cruises. How about like a mid flap pass? Does it does it slow down good or? I'm actually not sure. Does it want to stall? I I never got it that slow. Really? To be honest. You don't want to crash. All I, right, I, don't do it for me. I, I just, <laughs> I'll do a mid flap pass. Mid flap. I'll go, I'll go a little slow. I just know EDFs, you need wind going, you need air going over the surfaces. 3D printed planes, man. Now you guys can roll up to these fields where they say you have to build your own plane only, no foamies allowed. Technically, this is, you built it, man. It's not a yeah. bought plane. Yes, it's not a foamy. You don't have to worry about the old timers being grumpy being with you. Being grumpy. My man, I built this plane. It's just not balsa. It's not made out of wood. It rolls nice. You just can't find balsa wood anywhere, so that could be your excuse. Start taking the wood off your house. Just hit a bigger motor. <laughs> nah, it's beautiful out here. Oh, I lost it on that one. She looks nice when you fly by, man. I think I'm gonna bring it in. Get my full land. Actually, you know what? It's only about like two minutes. I got three minutes on my uh, phone. Okay. Hand. I'll do a couple more passes and then I'll. Uh... I don't even know. I actually never really tried to fly it inverted. Oh, it actually flies nice inverted. Yeah, look at that. Dialed in. Will this, really will this thing do a, uh, will it do a loop? I think so. I know the EDFs tend to lose, like, velocity a little bit, but... That thing is beautiful, man. Such a good paint scheme. Film is it filament or filament? Filament. filament. I'm here, man. Let's not botch this one. I'd like to fly it. Let's see. That's a nice flare. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. That was money. It almost looked like it was on a wheeler. I couldn't even see the wheeler. And there we go, man. 3D printed planes. You guys are interested, I'm going to leave the links to these below. And uh, I'm going to put this in the air myself. Whoa, here we go. Oh, man, it's nice enough to let me fly the MiG-15. You take off the flaps or not? Half flaps. Half flaps. All right. Yeah. Nope. I, I just learned about it two weeks ago. I lost it. Wow. This like thing flies incredible. It's like a trainer, right? 
it's sensitive because you have no X ball, but it, it it's like dialed in. Once I you add the X ball, look at it. Yeah. Oh, Once you add the X ball, it'll be good. You just really gotta flare it, otherwise it's gonna jump. Yo, it's in one piece. 3D printed is something I'm gonna do. My man Christian is going to be helping me out with that. As always, guys, Garage RC, appreciate you watching. Till next time.